Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Body Bags. It's week 221, and I'm your Sunday host, DeBougie86, here doing a film review on Thursday. Yes, it's that time again for the Thanksgiving review. Yes, of course, it's Thanksgiving, and Abby had like little preoccupations with like family plans and Thanksgiving in general. So I decided to do a little fill-in review for him. It's going to be up a little later than it usually would be, but it's still going to be up, guys, because, uh, you know, it's the holiday, so I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving, because I know I did. Really fun stuff. So since this review was kind of very last-minute type deal, I decided to do a film that I just watched recently, and uh, it was fresh in my mind, and it's a film from 2011, and it has a very interesting premise, I have to say. And it goes by the title of The Caller, yes. This film stars Rochelle Lafer, uh, Stephen Moyer, who you probably know from like uh, True Blood, and uh, Louis Guzman, who uh, great character actors in numerous movies. He's very recognizable. You'll know who Louis Guzman is when you see him right away. He's in everything. So pretty much we're introduced to Rochelle Lafer as a character of Mary Key, who's this young divorcee who actually just moved into a new department and uh, it's getting up and stuff and she starts getting these very odd phone calls from this individual named Rose. And Rose is looking for Bobby pretty much and then we have this interaction where Mary Key doesn't know what Rose is talking about, who Bobby is and then she finds out something about Bobby actually just came back from Vietnam and stuff and Rose and stuff is we find out is actually from the past so pretty much the gist of it is Rose is in the past and this telephone is a link to the past to the future pretty much and she starts to talk to Mary Key but unbeknownst uh, things start getting weird and we find a little Rose isn't all there so Mary Key tries to break ties with her but unbeknownst we find out that Rose actually knows Mary Key as a young person at this time period because she only lives a few blocks away from where Rose is living now back in the 70s so it's pretty much the gist of what do you do with a villain that is in the past pretty much and could change your future pretty much as we see as the film progresses that's where I'm going to leave the plot off with this one. Uh, very cool premise. Like I said before in a few previous reviews that I've done, either on my channel or this channel, I'm actually a very big uh, fan of like uh, the time travel like uh, film. And this one's done with a great like uh, premise and stuff. Just the way the idea of using this phone call and the telephone as a gateway into changing time is very interesting and hasn't really been done before in like a time travel or time bending movie before and just the aspect of that is uh very uh fresh and new for like a, a certain type of story of course you have to like uh break yourself off from thinking how is this telephone like connected to like the past and the present and that stuff you just gotta take it for what it is in that aspect of it but other than that, this is a very interesting thriller type film with aspects of like horrific things of like, what do you do, especially if uh, you can't stop this villain? Like you could run away from like certain bad guys and you could run out of like a haunted house or you could even like stop a killer if he's right in front of you. But what do you do when a killer is in the past and, he's cha and he or she is changing your future? as the film progresses and it's just a scary thought that what if this could actually really happen in real life you know what I mean so the aspect of that is great and the acting is great like uh all the main leads of this film are phenomenal uh Mary Key uh, Rachel Lafer is uh, phenomenal in the role as uh Mary Key like I said and I don't know who actually plays the woman of Rose or her voice to be exact but it's fucking great. Like the performance of the voice is amazing, very sinister, and very heckling at sometimes of the film and the aspect of the way that her character develops in the film 
you can see like uh, she's having fun with it sometimes and you can see her like being hysterically like insane in some points and so that's a great performance from any standpoint of like uh, a main villain of a film and it's a really aspect that I really like and I just love how like uh, the film is done there's like this really cool scene where we get to see like uh, the aspect of the changing of time pretty much in the film without giving too much away and it was done very well and I did like the aspect of how the film was uh, done in that aspect with like uh, you don't really get to see a lot of like the time bending stuff inside the film, but you get to see like the after effects of it. But that was one very cool scene that they did show you what would actually happen if uh, Rose did like change time and like different like sorts of things in Mary Key's life and uh, uh, individuals inside her life. So I did like that aspect of it. It was really cool and the aspect, and it was just a ripping, thrilling story, especially with the whole like subplot of like uh, the divorcee and uh, the divorce uh, procedures that's going on within the film. So if I had to rate the color, it's getting a solid 8.5 out of 10 for me. I highly enjoyed this film for what it was. Really, really great, like tight, like time bending, like time travel, like thriller with like an aspect of great acting and just a great story. And uh, something that brings something new to like this type of like film. And it's something that I like appreciate them doing really great stuff. The color, 8.5 out of 10. I highly recommend this. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, this is for a review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back on my regular day of Sunday. So, as I said before, hope you had a great Thanksgiving like I did, and I'll see you next time, peeps. Peace out.